So today, I'll be providing an update on a on a homicide case that happened in 2017 out of Squamish, BC. This is a case that's been shrouded in mystery since that time. The victim's real name was never known until recently, and we're hoping that there is somebody out there that has information about what happened to him. Now, to give you some background about this, uh, this is a case that um, happened on June 14th of 2017 at around 9.30 in the morning uh, when the the Sea to Sky RCMP received a report about a burnt vehicle in a forest road um, in Squamish. Now, when they examined the vehicle, they found human, re human remains inside the vehicle. And the vehicle was a 2000 red GMC Yukon XL. The autopsy later confirmed that the victim died of a gunshot wound. Now, after speaking with the members of the Squamish community, we learned that uh, our victim went by the name of Jesse James, and he was well known in that community as an avid climber. Uh, now the victim's actual name remained unknown until recently, when it was confirmed as Davis Wolfgang Hawk. Hawk spelt H-A-W-K-E. Uh, I'm going to hold a picture of Davis here. Mr. Hawk was 38 years old at the time of his death. Conclusively establishing our victim as Mr. Hawk, um, as our victim is clearly a significant development in the case, but although it answers some questions, it's, ac it's actually opened up more questions on the case. Uh, this case truly is a mystery, and we're hoping that somebody out there has information now that we know, we know who our victim is, Davis Wolfgang Hawk. I can also share with you that Mr. Hawk is from the United States, uh, that we have very little information, actually little to no information about him here in Canada. And again, if you have information about what happened to Davis Hawk, who also went by the name of Jesse James in the Squamish community, we urge you to please contact us. Our number is one 551 or you can contact us through email at ihitinfo at rcmp-grc.gc.ca. Uh, or you can reach out to our partners and provide your information anonymously through the Metro Vancouver Crime Stoppers. When he came into Canada is one of the, one of the important questions we're trying to, to, uh, to determine. Um, I can tell you that uh, we were able to confirm his identity through DNA. He was reported missing from his family, by his family uh, in the United States. And that's how we were able to confirm his identity. Um, there's, there's a lot of questions, and, and in a lot, of, a lot of these cases, when we know the identity, we have an idea of, of what happened. We, have, we can formulate theories on you know, who could have done this based on the identity and the information we ascertained by looking into their past. In this case, it's actually opened up more questions. Um, we have a name, we have an age, we have a photograph. Uh, we've spoken with some people uh, in the Squamish community that, that recognized him, that knew him, uh, especially as an avid climber. Apparently, he was very involved in that community, in the climbing community. But um, aside from that, there's a lot of question marks on this case, especially us here um, uh, who, who live in the lower mainland, who, who watch and read the news, and we hear a burnt vehicle, a homicide victim, I think we, we often jump to that conclusion that it is gang-related. And I think this is a perfect reminder, perhaps, that we shouldn't jump to those conclusions. Um, but, in, but to be fair, in this case, back in 2017, we didn't know who he was. We only knew that it was a man um, who went by the name of Jesse James. Um, but this, I keep saying this a lot, but there's a lot of question marks. It is truly a mystery. It is truly a, a case of who done it. It is a it is a case that's that we're aggressively pursuing, but uh, again, there's uh, a lot of information that we need, a lot of uh, blanks that we need filled. Um, he was found gun with a gun gunshot wound in a vehicle in a burnt vehicle in a, a forest road in Squamish. Other than that. Um, really, uh, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of motives that could be at play. We've, uh, we're even alive to the fact that perhaps um, somebody discharged a firearm accidentally in the area. We haven't ruled that out. 
Uh, it is obviously a homicide, that we know. Whether it's a culpable or inculpable homicide, meaning was it intentional? Was it accidental? Accidental, ex accidental, accidental pardon me. Uh, we don't know. And certainly we're not ruling that out. And that's why if those who were in that area of Squamish, if you can remember back to June 14th, around that time of 2017, and you have some idea, any idea of what happened to Mr. Hawk, who also went by Jesse James, we urge you to please come forward and speak with Ahit. 